you will discover soul to soul, brother, heart to heart. <laughs> yeah. You will see that we bear with you. So any way you slice it, we are of the resurrection, the truth, the light. Uh, the time is now. There's no better time than now. And if you want to know where the best place is, there's no better place than here, right here, right now. We don't do anything in the future. We don't do anything in the past. We don't do anything except what we know. So our hadith is what? We only know what we can do. What we can do. We never learned anything we already knew. So we are open virgins for learning. You know. That which is old is always jealous of that which is new. So our final examination was before Allah. It was called for some the night of power. That's what God did. The sun would rise every morning from the east. And then it would set every night in the west. But when it be setting, it would be making sajda. Chinese call it kowtow, with the head to the floor. And it would ask Allah for permission to rise up the next day. Allah would grant it. So for a million, zillion years, the sun bowed down in the west at night, rise back up in the east in the morning. Until finally, as was prophesied, there would come a time when what would happen? When the sun would go down in the west like normal and say, Oh Allah, grant me permission to rise again the next day as usual. And there was no response. The sun would be down for a while, maybe 24 hours, and say, Allah, please grant me permission to rise again, you know, as usual. Yes. And there was no uh, response. And then the sun said, man, it's three days. Oh, Allah, grant me permission to rise. And Allah said, permission is granted. But this time, son, you shall rise from the spot that you set. You're no longer rising from the east. You are now rising from the west. Into the days of Allah. Ayyamu Allahi. So, we should work cheerfully. Uh, knowing that our time has come. And that we have been given an insurance, what do you call it? A promise. promise. Insurance we promise. Call it insurance policy. <laughs> 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 an insurance promise that you are the descendants of Abraham. And that after 400 years of slavery and suffering death, Allah would raise you up and out of this mess and put you on top of civilization. And if that's not enough, he backed it up with what? With a thing by Hajar, whom you call Hagar, Hajar, and he told Hajar, your son, because of what you had to go through in Mecca, out here in the desert and hardships, you will be blessed through your son, whom the Christians call Ishmael, whose proper name is Ismail, the one who hears the word of Allah, your son, from the seed of your son will come a great and mighty nation. So you got backup. Abraham, backup. Yeah. Uh, Hajar, Hagar, backup. And then Prophet Muhammad said, and this is the final cap. Uh huh. Prophet Muhammad said, there's going to come a time when. Islam is going to be so big and powerful in people until it be like what you would call today 
six, uh, three, uh, what is it, one billion strong. He said that when this time comes, you will have 72 major big time groups. They've been around for a long time. They are all on the wrong path. Ouch. He said, but there'll be another new group coming up, the 73rd group. This group, if it's 73, it's got to be new because it's going, you already have one through 72, so it have to be the last one. He said, this group would witness Islam doing what? Renewing, Renewing itself. itself. Changes. And when Islam renewed itself, it would be just like Islam renewed itself in Mecca. When it renewed itself in Mecca, people said, Muhammad, this is a very strange thing. He said, and when it renewed itself in the West, the people would say, Islam renewed? It's a strange thing. You guys are strange. You 73rd group, you, you weirdo. The word in Arabic is weirdo. He said, celebrate and give great news and glad tidings to the weird ones. They will be on the case. He said they will be so weird until the prophecy said it will be like the sun rising from out of the west. Mm -hmm. The slave girl giving birth to the child of the mission. So we bear witness. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. And in our clothes, we have a, a, a saying like this. There are no mistakes allowed or tolerated among the labor. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends and enemies, you can accept it <laughs> or you can leave it alone. The only problem you have is when you can't accept it and you can't leave it alone. There's a law for my law. One cannot hang long between the tree and the ground. Shalom. Something's got to get. So, big fields are waiting the wide awake people to work out in. We just have to get busy. And our miracles should be flowing like rivers. It is another law from Allah that rivers flow into the ocean. Oceans don't flow into the river. So, uh, we're good to go on this.